gardeners welcome back to another video on my channel my name is Trisha and in today's video I'm going to be reviewing and reacting to your guys's snake enclosures so previously I made a video kind of similar to this where I was just looking at all of your guys's general reptile enclosures and I decided to do more videos like this because you guys wanted me to and it was so much fun and I loved seeing all of your guys's enclosures and I think that it just gives a lot of people a lot of inspiration when watching that video. That way they can see all of your enclosures and fix up their own as well. It's just so much fun. So today we're going to be focusing just on snakes. I was going to do just ball pythons, but we're just going to do all snake species today. And there are a ton of ball pythons in there as well. So I'm just going to kick it off and get started. I do want to say thank you to everyone that participated. Again, I'm not an expert. I'm not saying that like my opinion is like the best thing ever. I'm still learning. And honestly, I want to get inspired by your guys' enclosures as well. So I'm just excited to see them all. And some of you guys just want ideas and want me to have a look at it to just offer more advice. So I'm happy to do that as well. So I'm going to go ahead and get started now. We are going to start with J.R. Warner's enclosure. He said that this is a rescue baby corn snake. He's on paper towels because when he got him, he had scale rot, sadly, so he's been using the paper towel since then. So first of all, this does look like a very spacious enclosure, which I do love since corn snakes are so active and they definitely need a lot of space. Um, I am seeing a lot of different textures and feels. There's like a little coconut thing, there's sticks, there's things to climb on, they have uh, the proper amount of hides. Um, so everything is looking great. Honestly, the only thing that I would do to spiff it up is maybe to add more things along the walls. I can't really see up entirely on this enclosure, but I think adding even more things to climb on horizontal climbing spaces throughout the enclosure, I think the corn snake would really utilize that. And maybe just more fake plants because you can't have too many fake plants. Like the more the better. The more you can fill up this enclosure, I think the better the corn snake will like it. So the next one is from Caitlin Wooten. Sorry if I'm saying any of these names wrong. I'm really bad at pronouncing things. So this enclosure is for a ball python. I am not sure what size this tank is. I do see that it has a warm hide on the right and a water bowl on the left. I'm not sure if there is a cool hide on the left as well. If not, I would definitely recommend to have a cool hide as well. Other than that, I do see a stick to climb on. So with this enclosure, first of all, just looking at the size of the ball python, I would recommend to get an upgrade right off the bat and get something that's more spacious for your ball python to move around in. Um, I think that the ball python would absolutely utilize more space. Um, as for like decorations and things, I would fill it out. You can do fake plants or live plants. I think that that would add a lot of enrichment. Ball pythons also like to climb as well. So I think adding some different things, horizontal climbing perches would be great for the ball python. I just want to see this enclosure filled out more. I think that there's a lot of opportunity for the ball python to get more enrichment. And absolutely make sure that you get that cool side on the left as well. So moving on to the next one. The next one is from Gary the Bearded Dragon. For some reason I just got really confused and I thought that this enclosure was for Bearded Dragon and I was like, oh my god, what is going on? But it's not because that's not what this video is about. So this is for a ball python and they shared a picture of the ball python. It is super cute. It's a little baby. So obviously this is a smaller tank because it's a smaller baby at the moment. So over time they will most likely upgrade it, which is what I would recommend as well. But judging this enclosure right now, from what I can see, I think that it looks great. They have live plants in here, which is great for enrichment. I really like the thing on the back. I'm not sure what it is. If it's like moss or something, there's like some kind of plant hanging, but it looks really pretty. I can see that there is a proper warm hide on the right. I can't really see a cool hide, but I'm going to assume that there is one on the left. And then there is just a lot of enrichment going on for this baby ball python, which is just great. So I think if I were to add anything, I would add more things to climb on throughout the enclosure because, again, ball pythons will just take advantage of pretty much anything that you give them. Even though they're sleeping during the day, like at nighttime, they will be active and they will use their space. So that could just be something else to add. But other than that, you're doing a great job when it comes to the enrichment. So the next one up is... Kai Spellcaster. So this is for a baby Brazilian rainbow boa. 
So this looks like it is keeping in a lot of humidity, which is great. I can see like condensation throughout the entire enclosure. I can see warm hide. Maybe it's a cool hide on the left. Um, so I would just make sure, because I can't really see from this picture, make sure that there is a warm hide and a cool hide in this. Um, also, there are some different things to climb on, which is great because the babies really, really do love to climb. And there are a lot of different textures and feels, and you can definitely tell that it's like filled out, so that's great. I would maybe just add more fake plants, or maybe my favorite thing to add to enclosures, which is cork bark. But other than that, looks like you're doing a great job. I like this one. So the next one is Gab 20 Street. I don't know if that's how it's pronounced at all. I'm just guessing. So this is for a baby Brazilian rainbow boa. Or maybe it's not a baby. It is because I can see the baby in the picture. So this looks absolutely amazing. I really, really like this one. Um, this you can obviously see that it's keeping the humidity and it is harder to keep a baby rainbow boa. The humidity levels are so hard, especially in a tank, but that's what I did with mine as well. So I can see that you're handling it properly and that you have the whole top sealed off with like plastic wrap. So that's great. I like the moss vines throughout the enclosure. Great for climbing and also enrichment, proper hides, a water bowl. This just looks fantastic. I think you're doing an amazing job. I don't know if I even have anything to add because you've just done a great job and I think that that baby is probably so happy in that enclosure. So the next one up is Farmer Blake 420. So he is keeping rattlesnakes and he sent me his rattlesnake enclosures, which is crazy because I was not expecting to be judging rattlesnake enclosures today. Um, it's so cool that people are like keeping these as pets. I wouldn't recommend it for everyone, obviously. But we're going to go ahead and look at these enclosures. So he said that he has a speckle, a side winder, and a mojave. So when looking at these enclosures, I obviously am not familiar with keeping rattlesnakes. I've never kept one before and I've never even seen an enclosure for one. So this is my first time looking. And honestly, like I don't understand care requirements for an animal like this either. It's not something I've ever looked into. But by looking at the enclosure, I can see that they're all kind of a little bit bare. And I'm not sure if that's done intentionally and if that's better for rattlesnakes or not. It's something that I'm completely unfamiliar with. But I would recommend to just add more different textures, feels, hides, things to climb on if necessary. I'm not sure if they climb. Um, I would just want to add more enrichment throughout these enclosures. I think that even if you don't want to do that and they need a bare minimum setup, um, I think that it would be cool to add a background because I can see that you're using glass tanks with a clear background. I think it would be really cool if you put a naturalistic background in the back. You can create your own or just like buy paper or something that looks like a background. I think that that would help spiff it up. But other than that, just add some enrichment and I, that's pretty much all that I have to add for it because I know nothing about keeping a rattlesnake as a pet. So we're going to move on to the next one, which is Anne Tran B. And she has a five-month-old ball python. So I'm not sure what size enclosure this is, but I can obviously see that it is adequate for a baby ball python. I can see that there's a warm hide and a cool hide and a water bowl. So all of the basics are there. And then there's one little fake plant. I would honestly just recommend to add more fake plants or live. I think that that would help add some enrichment and again maybe some vines or something throughout the enclosure for climbing on because babies especially are just very active. So I think that giving them opportunity to climb around and use that activity and give them some enrichment as well would be a good thing. Oh and she sent a picture of the ball python and it is literally the cutest little picture ever. It's so adorable. So the next one is Millie Camille. And this is for a California king snake, and it's in a 40-gallon low exoterra. So looking at this enclosure, I think that there is, I can see warm hide, a cool hide, different plants throughout the enclosure. I think that it has a lot of enrichment. I think it looks pretty filled out, and there are a lot of fake plants. I think that it looks great the way that it is. 
I don't know if I even have anything to recommend changing to do with this because I just I like how it looks. So I think that I would just leave this enclosure alone. I don't even know if I have anything to add because I like how it looks and I think that there's a lot of enrichment and different things going on throughout the enclosure which is fantastic. So just keep doing exactly what you're doing. It looks great. And also your king snake is so cute and I love this picture that you sent me. So so pretty. So the next one is from Ben's XVII. Don't know if I'm pronouncing that correctly. So this is a ball python enclosure. Okay, so this is like giving me some inspiration. I really, really like how this looks. Um, I'm not sure if you made that naturalistic background. It looks like you did and I'm loving it. It's gorgeous. I like the live plants. You can see that there is a really cool looks like a hide that maybe you built or I don't know if you would have purchased that somewhere on the right there's like a little hole so the snake can just go in there and climb out that is so cool I really like that and then I can see tucked behind the plant on the left that there's a cool hide as well and then there's a little thing to climb on in the middle so honestly I'm really liking how this looks I think it looks stunning the only thing I would add maybe it's not even necessary but maybe just like more things to climb on. Or maybe another plant on top of the hide on the right. That's pretty much it because this enclosure looks so good. I like the size of it too. I think that's just fantastic. And the snake picture is literally the cutest thing ever. It's so magical and it's coming out of that hide. It just looks so good. So the next one is from Surfa, Surfavana. And this is for a boa constrictor, and it is in a 4x2x2. By two by two. It has a basking bulb, UVB, and deep heat projector. So, I think I want to just move in and live in this enclosure because it looks so pretty. It has, like, plants everywhere, different textures and feels everywhere. The whole thing is completely filled out, and that is, like, the best thing that you can do. It's, like, so filled out that I can't even see, like, warm cool hide water bowl like everything there's just so much and honestly that's probably like the best thing for your snake because there's just so much for it to check out it's just so much enrichment and it just looks so good and it's a really great size as well so I'm sure that you have a very very happy boa in there so this is for a seven-year-old corn snake um, it looks very spacious which is great there's like a ton of different things to climb on different textures and feels Honestly, I don't even think I have anything to add. Maybe, like, I don't know. I think that this looks good. Like, that looks great. I don't think there's anything that you really need to add. Maybe just more fake plants because fake plants are the best and it just makes it look even better. But you already have a lot of that from what I can see in this, so you've done a great job here. So the next one is Amanda Margaret 21. So this is for a garter snake. Um, that's a species I'm not too familiar with, but I do know that they are like the only snake, well not the only, the only one that I know of that actually basks, which is really cool, so it's like a very, very active snake. Um, so I'm not sure if you have a heat pad or if you're using heat from above, but I would recommend if you have a garter snake to do the heat from above because they like literally will bask, it's the coolest thing ever, and they're just very, very active. So that is something I would recommend. I do see a lot of different things going on in here. Definitely a lot of highs, a water bowl. I think what would be pretty cool is just adding a background because I can see that it's just, I don't know if you have like purple painting on your wall and that's a glass tank or if the glass is purple. Um, I would maybe make it look a little bit more naturalistic. I would add some more fake plants or I think leaf litter would also make it look more naturalistic as well and that would look great in here. So those are my recommendations, but other than that, looks like you're doing a great job. So the next one up is Lemon the Ball. So this is for probably the actual lemon ball python that this account is made after. So this is a ball python enclosure. I'm not sure what size this is, but it does look very spacious, which is great. Um, I'm not sure how big the snake is or anything either. I can see that there are different hides going on. I think there's one in the back, there's one on the left, there's one on the right. And then there is a water bowl. So plants everywhere, fake plants. I can see there's a little thing to climb on in the left corner, which is great. So I think that this looks really, really good. And there's a lot of different textures and feels throughout this enclosure. 
again i think like you know my last video i was saying to add cork bark to everything i think in this video my recommendation for all of these is just leaf litter because it's just so good for snake enclosures it looks so so good and it's a great form of enrichment and even if you don't have a bioactive soil it just not only does it look good it gives them something new to smell and feel throughout the enclosure and it really just makes it pop and then if it is bioactive it's also great for the microfauna so they will actually like eat off of it and live on it and stuff so it's just great all right so the next one up is from pale scales so this is an 18 by 18 by 24 zoom med terrarium with rupti chip substrate cork grapevine and fake foliage for a russian rat snake so rat snakes i don't know anything about their care whatsoever i have zero experience with them and right off the bat i'm like shocked they that they have a vertical enclosure i think that that's really unique they are clearly a snake that likes to climb i can see that you are fully letting your snake utilize that in this enclosure which is fantastic and i cannot tell if the plants are live or fake but either way they're like really really pretty and i love them and i can see that there's nice hides on the bottom this is just fantastic i think that the enrichment on this is great um maybe the only thing that i would add just because i'm weird about glass tanks some people just like how glass tanks look i would recommend maybe to do a naturalistic background even i think it would look cool on the sides too if you were to go like three-dimensional i think it would really make everything just pop but honestly it looks like you're doing a great job and your snake is literally the cutest thing ever the next one up is Kendall Dye. So this is two enclosures for ball pythons. So both of these are pretty similar. They look very spacious, which is good. Um, I like the plants that you have in there. The only thing I would be nervous with with like fabric plants is that it can get dirty over time and mold and it can it can just get dirty rather than using like a plastic plant because then you can easily clean them off um so maybe i would recommend switching that out for something that's easier to clean and that will last longer in the enclosure um, other than that i can see the hides there's a warm and cool hide in these and there's something to climb on in the center which is great and then there's a water bowl so and then something else i would recommend is just leaf litter because it just would look really great in there so next up is stitch the bearded dragon and this is a five month old female ball python enclosure so the ball python is super cute and then the enclosure i can see that there's a warm hide a cool hide a large water bowl i like that you have the moss like just around the water bowl i think that's like really cute and it looks really good and i like the plants throughout the enclosure maybe something that i would add something that would be cool is maybe moss vines you can get them at josh's frogs i think it would be cool if you added that throughout the enclosure because it could be something for your ball python to climb on as well and just add a little bit more enrichment and then again leaf litter leaf litter is just like the best thing ever so next is slither and coil this is for a rufous beaked snake I'm not even going to attempt to say the scientific name because I'm going to butcher it. But the enclosure is stunning and this is a species I've never heard of. This is something completely new to me so I don't understand the care. But I can see that there is a lot of space and there's a lot of enrichment and live plants throughout the enclosure which is fantastic. I'm sure the snake is very happy. The only thing that I would recommend is to add a naturalistic background to this. I think that that would look really really good so and i can see there's like leaf litter so i can't make that recommendation here because it's already covered and it just looks so good and the snake is like so cool looking you sent like the coolest picture ever i don't know if you took that yourself if you did that's amazing and that snake is really really cool so the next one up is snake enthusiast for a ball python i am in love with these huge cork bark pieces in this enclosure they're huge and then there's fake plants all around which is fantastic and a large water bowl i can see the hides as well so something i would add i can see that this is in a tub um, i would add vines to climb on i think that your ball python would utilize it and it would be really really cool in the enclosure i really like moss vines i think that they just look really really cool and it's good for ball pythons i want to add it to mine as well and then maybe just some leaf litter 
but honestly everything else just looks great keep up the great work next up is mike jagger and this is for a baby rainbow boa and the dimensions are in centimeters so i have no idea what that is in inches but if it's a baby obviously it's gonna be tiny because rainbow boas are so so small so this enclosure is stunning i love the live plants in it i like that there's like a level on the left i'm not sure if you made it that way but it looks really really cool and then there's a live plant on that as well there's a water bowl i'm loving like the twirly looking wood piece going through the enclosure as long as you're keeping the humidity up in this, I think that you are doing an amazing job and it looks beautiful and your, your snake probably looks amazing in there. Next up is Sinister Laughter and this is for a two-year-old ball python named Pretzel. Pretzel totally looks like a pretzel. That's like perfect. Um, so I'm not sure what size enclosure this is. No, it doesn't say. Um, but for, I'm just going to say it flat out, for like all adult ball pythons, I would recommend to have at least a 75 gallon enclosure or four foot long terrarium because they need the space. They will definitely utilize it. So again, I'm not even sure this may be a 75, but I just wanted to make that clear. But looking back at this enclosure, um, obviously there's stuff to climb on, which is great. I can't really see the hides throughout this enclosure as long as there's a warm hide and a cool hide obviously then you're good and a nice water bowl that is a good size for them i can't really see everything within this enclosure but from what i can see it looks like there's a lot of different enrichment and it does look really really good again i would add some leaf litter that's just gonna be my thing today so next up is emma kxng i don't know how to say that i'm really sorry uh, so this is for a baby corn snake oh. I'm not sure what size enclosure this is, but it looks extremely spacious for a corn snake, which is fantastic. And you have fully decorated it. There's fake plants everywhere and it looks so good. Um, and there's a water bowl, there's a warm hide, there's a cool hide. I don't even think I have anything to add to this because it just looks so good. Maybe the one thing I would add is some cork bark just for a different texture or feel. But other than that, like, I'm sure that snake is extremely happy in that enclosure and you've done an amazing job. All right, next up is a Sinri. I don't have my glasses on and it's really hard for me to read some of these. So I'm really sorry if this is like really off, but I'm like blind. So here are my ball python enclosures. So these right off the bat, I can already tell they have so much enrichment, which is fantastic. I love that. There's different things to climb on as well. Um, I like that you have moss on the ground too. That will help with humidity and the right amount of hides. So the only thing I would add with this maybe would just be maybe a little bit more, maybe more fake plants. I'm just seeing like the background is kind of blank and that's like the only thing that I think because like the whole ground space is covered so well and that's great. So maybe just spiff up the background a little bit with even more fake plants or just some type of background. I think that would really make it stand out and look good. But other than that, looks like you're doing a great job taking care of these ball pythons, and I love the amount of space that you've given them. So next up is Beautiful Reptiles 1996. So these are two ball python enclosures, and they are in tubs to keep up the humidity. First of all, the ball pythons are stunning. I think that they look so pretty. Um, there's a lot of fake plants throughout the enclosure, a nice size water bowl. So maybe for this one, I would add some more like sticks or vines, different things to climb on. I think that that would be great in this. I do like the amount of um, fake plants that you have. I would add maybe just a little bit more um, and maybe some more textures and feels. I think cork bark would go really great in this enclosure as well. And you can also use that as like for something for them to hide in or climb on. And then it just adds enrichment as well. So next up is Maximilian de Maud. I'm sorry. There's no way I said that correct. I'm really, really sorry. So this is for an Amazon tree boa which is a snake that I want to get in the future. So I'm excited about this. I love this. So this is why I want to do like three dimensional backgrounds because it looks so good. And I love that there are just things to climb on throughout this entire enclosure, You're utilizing all of it. And not only is that great for climbing, 
but it gives your snake like a great opportunity to thermoregulate and pick where it wants to be temperature wise because obviously they're getting the heat from the top. So I think that that looks great. I love the live plants in here. This is fantastic. The only thing that I would add to this is leaf litter. That's it, because everything else just looks fantastic. This is beautiful. We're gonna take Dude out because he's scratching and being a little drama queen because he wants to come out. So we're gonna move on to the next one. So the next one is from Stamos MP. And you are from Greece, which is amazing. That's so cool. Um, so this is a boa imperator. Imperator. I always say these wrong. I don't know. It's a boa. So, and it's in centimeters, so I'm not sure how big this is because I don't know. But from what I can see, it looks like there's a lot of enrichment throughout the enclosure all over the ground. I see a nice large piece of cork bark. So I can see a water bowl there. It does look a little bit small for the boa constrictor. I would recommend something that the boa can completely submerge itself in. Um, but honestly, like maybe you just take your boa out and soak it in the tub and hydrate your snake that way and help it with sheds. That's optional as well. Um, I'm not sure what size this is, but I would definitely upgrade because I can see that there isn't that much space when it comes to the width in this enclosure. Um, and I think that your boa is definitely looking pretty large. So maybe I would recommend at a minimum of a four by two by two enclosure for your boa constrictor. Other than that, when it comes to like decorating it and stuff, I would add more things to climb on. I can see that you filled out the floor space really great. So I would utilize more of the height as well since they do like to climb and definitely just upgrade the enclosure to something with more floor space. That way your boa just has more opportunity to go into the hides and to climb around and just get more enrichment. So the next one is from Samantha's and this is bamboo, the one-year-old ball python in a 25 gallon tank for now. So she said for now, so I'm assuming you're gonna be upgrading soon, which is great. I would highly recommend to upgrade because they need a lot of floor space and just space to roam around and do things and climb around. Like they're pretty active snakes at nighttime and if you give them all a lot of enrichment, they will utilize it. So I can see that this enclosure is really filled out with enrichment. There's a lot of different fake plants and different things to climb on, which is great. I do see that you have um, aspen as the substrate. I would recommend to use something else that can hold humidity better. Um, people, there are like so many different things. You can try repti bark, um, a combination of cocoa husk mixed with other things. Like a lot of people just mix substrates and make their own. Um, my favorite mix is from Josh's Frogs. It's the bio bedding. And you did say that you wanted to go bioactive in the future. That is like the perfect substrate to use to go bioactive. And it will really help with the humidity as well for your ball python. So that's something I would recommend. And then other than that, just upgrade because I think your ball python would definitely like some more space. But other than that, I really like how you've really filled out that enclosure. The next one up is Mermaid Mutt. That's an awesome name, by the way. Very cool. Um, so this is for a ball python named Noodle, which is very, very pretty. So this is a 40 gallon enclosure. So I, the angles of this are a little strange. I can't really see everything. I'm going to assume that there's a cool and a warm hide, of course, like the basics. I don't see a water bowl. I'm not sure if you have one in there and I just can't see it from the picture. But what I do see is a lot of fake plants and enrichment, which is great, and different textures and feels, so you've done a great job with that. Something else I would add is just more things to climb on. I can see that your ball python likes to climb because it's like on its cork bark, so maybe vines throughout the enclosure would be great as well. That way your ball python can climb some more. So the next one up is Alexa's Exotics. This is for a western hog nose. So that is in a bin. So from what I can see, there are different hides throughout this enclosure, which is fantastic. And there's leaf litter and some fake plants. So something I would recommend doing in this enclosure is actually decorating the warm hide. And that may sound really random, but my friend May actually made a video where she did this and it was like really cheap. I'm going to put the link in my description for you guys to check out, but she decorated her warm hide 
and just like put fake plants and stuff on it and I think that that would look really cute in this type of enclosure for your hog nose so definitely check that out. Other than that I think you're doing a great job and that looks fantastic. Then they also sent a ball python enclosure in a 55 gallon quart tub enclosure. So for this one I would recommend more things to climb on throughout the enclosure, maybe some more cork bark. I can see that you do have a little bit in there. I would get some like large pieces going across horizontally that your snake can hide in and climb on. I think that would add a lot of enrichment and maybe some moss vines as well. Next one up is the Reptigade. So this is for a boa constrictor. So I am really, really loving this entire enclosure. I'm not sure if you made this yourself, but it looks really, really good. Um, I love that it has like the three dimensional walls and I don't know if you used uh, Repti chip or what you put on the sides, but like it's different on all three sides, which is really cool and interesting. It looks so pretty. And then I can see that you have live plants, which I really like throughout the enclosure. Something I would add is leaf litter. And I can't really see hides in this enclosure, so I would add some hides as well for your boa so that way it can feel nice and safe in the enclosure. Maybe I'm just not seeing it from the picture. But other than that, I would also add a bigger, deeper water dish that your snake can fully submerge in. But again, some people just soak their snakes in their tubs and just do it that way, so maybe that's what you do too. But other than that, like this looks really, really pretty. All right, so the next one up is cold blooded reptiles. Are you sniffing my breath again? So this is a 120 gallon ball python enclosure. That is amazing. Super spacious. Um, so it says you can't really see there's a cork bark hide behind the log on the left side. I can see that there are definitely an adequate amount of hides in this enclosure and a lot of climbing opportunity, which is great. And then I like the fake plants as well. I would maybe just add more fake plants to this enclosure, but other than that, with enrichment and everything, it just looks really, really good. So the next one up is Just Jack's Zoo. This is a 40 breeder for a ball python. So enrichment on this one is perfect. There's leaf litter, there's fake plants, there's different textures and feels, there's a the right amount of hides. Only thing I would add to this is maybe more things to climb on throughout the enclosure and use more of the vertical space as well. Um, a lot of people think ball pythons don't do it. They will. Just give them the opportunity. But other than that, this looks fantastic. You've done a great job. So the next one up is from Brenna. So we are looking at a Colombian rainbow boa setup. And she explained that it does keep in humidity well, which is great. I can see that you're using a lot of moss throughout the enclosure, which is also great. And then there's cork bark and different things to climb on. These guys do like to climb, so that's perfect. I would add more fake plants to this or live plants, but more plants in the enclosure to bring some green and more enrichment. I think that would also help. That would also help with humidity as well, especially if you're going to use live plants. So that is my recommendation for this. Next one is XX Chrissy 11. Um, so this is a baby Brazilian rainbow boa, and he will be getting upgraded soon, she mentioned. So honestly, with babies, like, this is totally fine. And I can see everything in here is perfect for keeping up humidity, especially that large, shallow water bowl. And then there's hides, and there's things to climb on. You're going to be upgrading him soon, so maybe I wouldn't add a naturalistic background to this, but like for this enclosure, that's something I would recommend, but you're clearly not going to keep him in this, so maybe do that with the next enclosure upgrade that you'll do. But other than that, I think that you've done everything really, really great, and there's a lot of enrichment throughout this enclosure um, and different things to climb on. I would maybe add um, maybe just more plants. But honestly, it looks really, really good. And that is all of them for today. So thank you to everyone who has sent me a picture. I'm sure that everyone has gotten so much inspiration from this. So that is what this is all about. And I definitely got some inspiration too because I want to fix up my ball python enclosure as well. So thank you guys so much for doing all of this today. I hope that you guys enjoyed the video and I will see you guys in the next one.